This is the Lavu point of sale system, and it's the number one ranked point of sale system for restaurants, and I'm gonna review it for you guys. All right, so what you're seeing right here is the point of sale system itself. So as you can see, there are different menus in here. So for example, appetizers, lunch, entree, desserts. For right now, we're gonna go to appetizers. We're actually gonna go into the coffee menu. Um, so we're kind of going to simulate how a cafe would operate or like an ice cream shop or any type of quick service restaurant. This is exactly how you would check out a customer. So for example, say our customer, they come up, they want a latte and say that latte, they want it in a large. Okay. So now it's going to drop down into this menu. Um, and these are what we call force modifiers. So before you or your employees can actually move to the next screen, you have to select uh, right here a force modifier. And our force modifier is the, the size of the cup. So it's going to be small, medium, or large. Then the next force modifier is going to be the type of milk. Because as you can see, if we try to click on the button on the top right to add to order, it's not going to let us move forward because it is that force modifier. And that's just going to ensure that your employees don't make a mistake and get the orders wrong. Okay. So say our customer, they just want that regular 2% milk. Okay. So now we can actually go to the optional modifiers. And what we can do here is we can add extra shots of espresso and we can also charge extra for those extra shots if we wanted to. Uh, we can also add, you know, other things such as creamer, syrup, uh, sugar, if we needed to, we can add those things here as well. We're going to add that to our order and then that's all our customer wants. So we're going to go ahead and check them out. All right. And this is the main reason why I love this point of sale system is because as you can see on the left hand side, we actually are charging our customer two different prices. Our customer can either pay the card price of $8.48 or your customer can pay the cash price. And the cash price is a little bit lower and the cash price is $8.15. And the reason why we do this is because we can actually take the credit card processing fees and pass it off to our customer. So that way you don't have to pay the credit card fees out of your own pocket. For example, if your business does $30,000 per month in sales, typically with traditional processing where you pay the fee, it's going to be roughly 3%. So if you do $30,000 per month, you have to pay $900 to the credit card processing company. However, with this point of sale system, if you sell $30,000 worth of products, you're going to keep all $30,000 worth of those sales. You do not have to pay the credit card processing company out of your own pocket because your customer can now pay those fees on your behalf. And if you're running a 20% margin in order for you to make a thousand dollars worth of profit, you actually have to sell $5,000 worth of product at your store. So that means that that's five business days, five days that you're going to work, your employees are going to work, your business is open. Five days are wasted because you have to pay $1,000 in credit card processing fees. But if you use this point of sale system, you're going to gain back five days worth of business. So now at this point, when we're checking out our customer, we're going to take their debit or credit card and we're actually going to tap it right here on the credit card reader. And we're just going to go ahead and check that customer out. And our customer can actually tip right here on the screen. So if our customer wanted to tip a dollar, they can go ahead and tip that dollar. All right. And now our customer is checked out. So if we go over here, we go to orders, we go to closed orders. As you can see right here, uh, we just checked out our customer for that one latte, large 2% milk and an extra shot of espresso. Okay, so this is the back end portal that you're gonna have access to once you actually sign up with Lavu and get their point of sale system up and running. So as you can see, we had $16 worth of sales for the day. But one thing that I actually wanna show you is if we go to inventory, right here, it actually gives us a lot of information about our inventory. For example, there's two items in our inventory that are very low on stock and we have to replenish those items. And I'll get back into that in a second. We also have the total value of our inventory. So that way we know exactly how much money we have sitting in the back room. We can also keep track of our pending transfers, our waste and our purchase order. So if we actually go over here, and we click on the low on stock. As you can see, we have two items that are low on stock, our large cup and our small cups. Meaning every time we sell a coffee or a latte, depending on what size that we pick, that inventory amount is gonna subtract by one 
and it's going to update in our back end because we got rid of one cup. We sold one physical cup of coffee. So before I did that transaction, we had 14 in our stock and now we only have 13. And just to give you guys some examples, so the milk we actually added as 10, when we bought it, it's 10 gallons worth of milk but that also equates to fluid ounces. So we change it to fluid ounces and every time somebody buys, say a latte, it's gonna subtract by, I don't know, say 10 ounces worth of milk. And the same goes for the coffee beans as well. So right here, we bought 50 pounds worth of coffee beans and that actually translated into grams. So every single cup of coffee, we're tracking by the amount of grams that are going into that specific cup of coffee. For example, in a small drip coffee, the ingredients, the coffee beans that are recorded inside of that cup of coffee is gonna be 10 grams. But if we actually go down to the latte, the small latte, and we click on it, we're actually using 20 grams of coffee for that one latte. So depending on your item is gonna uh, vary on the inventory amount that's subtracted inside of your back end. Okay, I wanna go over the Lavu pricing. So they have three different packages. They have a starter package, a growth package, and an optimized package. Most people are gonna be okay with the starter package or the growth package. And the biggest difference between the starter package and the growth package is actually gonna be online ordering, QR codes, DoorDash delivery, and the API access key. The best part about the middle option is the DoorDash delivery. So if you had a Clover POS, for example, and you integrated that Clover with DoorDash, every time you get a DoorDash order, you would actually have to pay 25% per order. So if it's a $10 order, you would only make $7.50 from that order. But Lavu actually has a deal with DoorDash and there's some clause written in their agreement saying that DoorDash cannot make a profit from Lavu users. Meaning if you own a Lavu point of sale system and you sell an item through DoorDash, you're actually gonna keep all of that money. So if it's a $10 product that you're selling on DoorDash, when the customer actually goes to check out, you don't have to pay that 25% fee or whatever it is. You're gonna keep all of that money. Next, we should actually talk about the hardware. So there's actually three ways you can go about doing the hardware. You can actually buy the iPad, buy the enclosure, buy everything and piece it out yourself. So that way you can save you know a couple bucks or you can buy everything directly from Lavu itself. And the regular package is gonna be about $1,500 for everything that's included. Meaning the iPad, the card reader, the stand, the enclosure, the cash drawer, and a receipt printer. Or you can actually finance this over a three year period. And the monthly payment comes out to be about $60 per month. So meaning if you're going with the starter package, of $59 per month, your total all-in cost is gonna be about $120 per month. But keep in mind, you're gonna save a lot of money because you don't have to pay for the credit card processing fees. You can actually pass those off to your customer. And that's something that you can't do with Square, Toast, and all of the other big POS companies because they're forcing you as the business owner to pay those fees. With this, you're gonna save all that money because you don't have to pay the fee. If you're looking to buy a Lavu point of sale system, you wanna make sure you do not go to their website directly because I actually partnered with Lavu and I got you guys a 15% off discount for the monthly subscription. So go ahead and click on that link down in the description below if you want that discount and I'll see you guys over there. Peace.